Today is Wednesday, September 15th, 2021, and we shall be speaking with Azim Lalji, who is at present in New York, where the time is around 12.15 p.m., and it is here in Los Angeles at 9.15 in the morning. Uh, Azim uh, was in North Point from 1950 to 1954. So, Azim Bai, glad to have you on the call today. Thank you for participating. How are you doing? Nice to be here. Um, I have three questions that I wanted to ask you. Uh, and the first one is, can you tell us about two of your most memorable incidents in North Point, whether joyous or not, but ones that you always kind of think about? Uh, yes, I always think about uh, Father Fitzgerald. Uh, he used to stand in the quadrangle with his hands behind his back and going up and down on his toes. And uh, when you went to ask him a question, and uh, normally you started with Father, can I? And before you knew it, he'd say, you may not. <laughs> and uh, this continues. So, you know, all a little perplexed. Till somebody got it and said, Father, may I please? He says, yes, you may. That's been always stuck in my mind. <laughs> and the other uh, memorable item was we had gone to, we had gone for this early morning walk to Tiger Hill to see Mount Everest. And we were very lucky in that, on that particular day, it was so clear that we got a great view of Mount Everest. So these two things I never forget. And of course, all the friends that we made over the years over there, that of course is, goes without saying. And we kept in touch with, with a lot of them over the years. Those are memorable incidents. And also for us too, during in the younger generation, we always also thought about Tiger Hill and took the hikes there. And we were so happy and ex exhilarated when we saw the uh, sun pop up behind Mount Everest on a clear right. day. That's great. That's great. Uh, and my second question to you is, um, what impact did any of the subjects you learnt in school help you in your further studies and in building your career? Uh, basically, I would say geography, because uh, the, the type of field that I was in was largely with import and export. And that uh, gave me an idea of, you know, the, the whereabouts of the countries and the cities in these countries. So I'm, I'm glad we had that subject geography, which, you know, gave me an idea of what, what, what was where in the world. And that helped a lot when I traveled abroad. Um, any other subjects that might have had an impact on your career? Um, English, literature. I used to read a lot at one time, uh, but nothing, not like the uh, classics, mostly novels and uh, mysteries. Yeah, we too, we learned the art of reading in school as well. Um, so um, again, uh, thank you for that. And my third question is, what virtues, characteristics, habits, traits did you pick up at North Point that still help you today? Um, yes, that is, one is to help other people, to make friends and keep friends, um, discipline, timeliness, and tidiness. <laughs> I like the last that's one. What the school, that's what the school taught us. And I, I really feel that was that was really good grounding that we got in North Point in those days. And uh, in those days we had, uh, I don't know about your time, but in those days we had uh, priests from all over Europe and uh, Canada. And they really gave us a good grounding there. And I think we had... Uh, from the uh, Indian staff or the local staff, we had uh, uh, Mr. Banerjee, you might remember. Yes, I do. Yes, Maurice. Very much. Yes. He was quite a guy. <laughs> yes, I remember him coming to, to Bombay and he had stayed with us for a couple of days, which was also nice. 
um, you know, Morris Banerjee is a legend, not only from your time, all the way to way later in the se late 70s as well. Everybody respected him so much and we all learned from him. And I sometimes feel mildly shocked when I hear from elderly seniors from North Point, like yourselves, that Morris Banerjee taught you. That means it goes back to when he must have just graduated from school or perhaps college and start and jumped into the teaching field. Possibly, yes. Possibly, yes. And uh, from there, I think Manny Coutinho. Yes. Is he, he, he must have retired by now, I think. He has kind of semi-retired, but he still teaches a bit in North Point. I met him a few years ago in Darjeeling. So he is he looks exactly the same as he did 30, 40 years ago. Oh, nice. <laughs> That's nice. Yes, yes. Um, <clears throat> so that's nice. Any other uh, recollections you want to share with us as well as perhaps uh, who were some of your classmates uh, and, and any other memorable incidents that might pop up that you want to share with the North Point crowd? Last week, I said Brian DeMonte, Errol Stagg, uh, Peter Lotrick, uh, used to call him Doggy, Doggy Kutar. Uh, I think Nick Dorothy was possibly a year ahead. Uh, there were some Czech students, uh, Ulrich Tam and uh, uh, Tibetan Keith Tenderfla. Uh, he was he was a good friend, but he passed away at a very young age. Uh, names keep coming back. It's difficult to, you know, get it all at one time, but yes. Some names stick in your mind forever. Yes, 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 of course we do. And so I'm glad that you had a great, positive, memorable experience in North Point. And uh, thank you for sharing your experiences with us because this is going to be looked at by all the younger North Pointers uh, and remain in posterity, Azim Bhai. Thank you so much. And uh, I wish you uh, good health. And by the way, before I end, just very quickly, do you have any advice at all for younger North Pointers? Uh, well, study hard, do the best that you can, and always try to help others. Yes, I will put it that way. Good, good. Thank you. And I shall keep that to heart myself <laughs> as well. So again, thank you, uh, Zimbai, for uh, participating with us. And I wish you and your wife and your entire family good health and cheers always. Thank you, Ashok. Nice to be here. And uh, again, wish you and the family all the best too. And do stay in touch.